we get the first possible leaks of what iOS on cars would look like. Ports up an ASUS made Google Nexus 8 service again, and yeah, even Beats by Dre now has its own streaming music service. I'm Jaime Rivera, and at this pace, with everybody getting their own music service, wait for Pocket Now Music coming very soon. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with actually the only piece of official news today as Beats, you know, the brand Beats by Dre has now launched its own music streaming service and it's very similar to Spotify in the fact that you pay $10 and you get 20 million tracks. Spotify offers you more, but the difference here is you get less time for a trial, only seven days, unless you're an AT&T customer where you get additional benefits. And well, even though this is probably not the best music streaming service on the planet, it's currently only available for iOS. They do mention an Android and Google application variant, but when you hit on the links, they're dead. So stay tuned for that as hopefully they'll figure that one out. Now let's go through some additional Sony rumors as this time we get the first leaked photographs of the Sony Xperia Z2 being compared to the Z1. And you'll notice that, well, the Z2 is a little bit taller and it's a little bit slimmer than the Z1, even though they do share the same specifications. Again, we're just expecting this to be a carrier variant for somewhere, we just don't know where. And aside from that, for those of you, which would probably be around two or three that want that Sony Xperia Z Ultra, well, the Wi-Fi only phablet variant is leaked to be part of their store soon. So if you do want to buy it, which I don't know why, well, stay tuned. Now let's talk about Apple as we do know that iOS 7.1 Beta 4 was now ceded to developers and interesting, one of these developers just took it upon himself to take some screenshots of the new car UI that's expected to come from Apple, the new automobile UI. We do know that 7.1 Beta is focusing on this, this is one of the new services that they want to launch with 7.1 and we do get some leaked screenshots. They're kind of interesting, minimalistic, but some of us are kind of skeptical. Some of us assume that this could just probably be a developer's application that's being leaked that way for news, but stay tuned, we'll see. Now let's talk about Samsung, it's probably one of the biggest inconsistencies in the industry right now, which wishes the date for the Galaxy S5 to be announced or launched, and as it turns out, Eldar Mortensen just came on Twitter and said that the phone will be announced at MWC, he did confirm it, February 23rd at MWC, but we won't be seeing the phone on stores until April, so that does make sense with all the debating rumors that have been out there. We are getting the new magazine UI, we are getting pretty much the same specifications that we've talked about, and we are getting the same price tag. So so yeah, this could be a great event for MWC, so stay tuned for that. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we get additional leaks of a Google Nexus 8 made by ASUS, but uh, wait right there. We have the Nexus 7, and then we have that LG G-Pad 8.3 Google Edition, so you wonder where is that Nexus 8 going to fit? And well, as it turns out, this tablet is apparently going to be launched in July or mid-2014 is what they say actually, so this could actually mean that the successor to the Nexus 7 will be the Nexus 8, a larger tablet, but anyways, that leads you to the question of the day. Would you actually want a bigger Nexus 7, meaning a Nexus 8, would you want the Nexus 7 to die for something bigger? Because in my particular case, I would if they figured out how to keep it in the same size, meaning make the bezel smaller, uh, because I do like the fact that the Nexus 7 does fit in the back pocket of my jeans, but leave us a comment down below, what do you think? And friends, you know the drill, if you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.